hello, hello. Welcome to this week's Energy Goddess Forecast. So this week, this is the last week of November. We know November has been a master month. We have had incredible energies working with us, more like polishing us um, for 2020. So um, we had the Mercury retrograde going on. We had the full moon. We, you know, like those so many powerful, potent energies. This week, we're going to have the new moon energy to really end this month um, in, in a powerful forward movement way, right? After all the work that we've done now, we can focus our energy on creating what is new, like creating something new, creating what is in alignment with our soul. So I am so excited to be bringing you the message for this week. And again, um, our main goddess for November is beloved Kuan Yin. And so that's the main card that applies to everybody. Um, and then we're all going to be receiving that med meditation also at the end of the video um, to guide us through the week. And the other three um, messages that came through, or the goddesses that came through, you know, I want you to really focus your attention on taking a deep breath in and ask yourself, where should I put my energy this week? Where should I focus my energy this week? And see which of the cards call to you. So one, two, or three. And once you receive the number, then kind of that should be your guide for the week. Now, if you put all the cards together, it gives us an overall outlook on how this week is going to be, but individually gives you, it's like, okay, this is how the energy is going to be this week for everybody. But for you, this is how you can be more successful this week. Right. And so um, let's go ahead and begin. So November was all about, November was the month of gratitude. So we were really, um, the energy that we're working with was actually bringing in that um, celebration on how far you've come. But because it's a master number, we were also working on that self-mastery. There's an area in our lives that Mercury retrograde really shone a light on and really allowed us to focus on and do some work there. And so even through the work, we were, um, you know, like we were supposed to be um, celebrating what we're doing. So I hope especially when Mercury went direct again, that you celebrated how far you've come. You celebrated the energy, the work that you did during this period. So this week, if you haven't at least bring in that energy um, of gratitude to really end the... So if you haven't worked with the energy of gratitude this entire month, which has been um, pretty intense and a lot of work being asked of us, right? If you haven't done that, at least for this week, bring in that energy of gratitude to end this month in a big way, right? December, oh man, December, we're really going to be entering that nice holiday energy. I feel like December is just filled with magic. Actually, from now onward till the end of the year and even to the beginning of the year, there's so much magic in the year. Um, this is like my favorite time of the year. It's just, you the magic is palpable, right? And it's like the, the magic of family and love and laughter and joy is in the air everywhere you go, right? So really um, bring your attention to them, begin to harness. Don't let stress take away the fun and the, 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 the true meaning of the holiday season um, from, from the whole experience. Make sure that you, you bring in that energy of joy, energy, you know, like what is the reason? What is the the whole purpose of the holiday season, make sure for you, find, remind yourself of what that means to you. So the three goddesses that came in um, for this week, the first goddess that came in is Nike, and she's bringing in the energy of ambition. The second goddess that came in is, let me see here, make sure. Oh yeah, Freya. And she's bringing in the energy of radical acceptance. And the last goddess that came in is um, Uzume, a Japanese goddess. And she's bringing in the energy of humor. So if you were drawn to one, um, your message is with Nike, which is about ambition. And I'll be talking about the message soon. Um, and if you were drawn to two, 
your message has to do um, with Freya, which is about radical acceptance. If your message was three, um, then your message is with goddess Uzumi, bringing in the energy of humor. So let's begin with the first message. If you were drawn to card number one, you are being asked to focus on this message. The Greek goddess Nike asks you to be present to the beauty and richness discovered in your life so far. You have come this distance, so what are your wins? Celebrating them is a key right now to enable you to co-create even more. You live in a world where you may have felt that you are not allowed to celebrate your victories, lest you be cut down for being self-centered. Perhaps you were raised in a family that discouraged you from shining in an authentic way. Being successful at the game of life requires you to refuse the message that you are too much or not enough. Your biggest win is to be yourself, accepting yourself exactly as you are, releasing the idea that you are flawed in any way and expressing yourself with authenticity. This is the true power of the victory goddess of Nike expressed through you. The goddess Nike has another message to share. If you've been struggling to move to the next level of your life, working hard and putting the time and effort in, you will soon find you are finally winning. Your determination and commitment to your intentions are manifesting in your life with beautiful results. When you are winning, the world wins too. Just remember to share your bounty. So that is the message if you were drawn to card number one with goddess Nike, ambition. Remember your wins. If you were drawn to card number two, your message is from goddess Freya, um, bringing in the energy of radical acceptance. So this is what you're being asked to focus on this week if you were drawn to card number two. When you see life as a battleground, you lose sight of a more easeful way to be in the world. Can you stand in the middle of chaos and allow yourself to enter in a quiet hum in the eye of the storm? Let the peace of Freya, the Norse goddess of war, enter your mind. Amid the flurry of battle, she came to collect the fallen and bring them to a place of rest and rejuvenation, recuperation. Freya is here to remind you that the acceptance of defeat is not the end. She offers the gift of acceptance, the knowing that there is nothing to resist right now. See your world at face value and look into it with discernment. When you see with greater clarity, not taking this world so personally, you will not have to fight at all. If you take full stock of your conditions, surrendering to what is, you can move to a higher ground, begin again, or wait until the drama dies down on its own. You are the strongest, most grounded, and most powerful when you remember this is the strategy the goddess Freya offers you in your support. Taking a deep breath in here. And out. All right. Now, if you were drawn to card number three, um, you, this week you're being asked to focus on the energy of humor with goddess Uzumi. Here's the message. When the Japanese goddess of laughter and mirth, Uzumi, enters your day, be playful and cultivate good-natured humor. Laughter is the best medicine and exceptionally healing at this time. Keep your focus on fun and positivity. Keep your focus on fun and positivity and see the humor if you can. Life is not meant to be all work and no play, all focus and no release. Humor fosters resilience and lightheartedness alleviates emotional pain, giving a much needed break from the burdens and speed of life. Now is the time for you to be silly, Laugh more, even take up laughing yoga. Yes, the world is serious and your dreams and desires are too, but the joyful goddess Uzume reminds you to enjoy your life and have fun. Such a beautiful message to end this month, right? This, this intense month that we've had. 
So those are the three messages that came in. Remember, the entire message um, comes in, like put together as a big picture for all of us. But the one, the card that you were drawn to is where you need to focus for this week. The last one is from Goddess Kuan Yin. Now this message is for every single person, right? That's for all of us. So let's see what beloved Kuan Yin has for us. And um, she has been with us through this entire week. So I'm really excited to, um, for this message that she's given us and the meditation that is coming through it for us to really end this, this month, basically. So here's the message. And the card that we received from beloved Kuan Yin is the Shining Lotus. I love this. And I even love the meditation. So I'm excited to share that with you. Here's the message. There are times when it makes sense to be discreet until you find your inner strength so that you can feel empowered enough to share your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs without wavering, even in the face of challenge by another. At other times, we benefit ourselves and others by taking a risk and allowing the inner lotus blossom of our own true self to shine forth for all to behold. Have you been hiding in this spiritual closet, beloved? Sometimes it makes sense to avoid sharing your thoughts and feelings about spiritual beliefs and other personal matters until they are clearer in your own mind. However, there are also times when hiding your deepest truths away from the world will no longer protect you, but actually hold you back from living your divine destiny, shining the lotus light of your own soul and walking your path in the world. This, is not, this, this does not mean that you have to make a grand announcement unless that is what your heart wants you to do. But it does suggest that there is something within you that you could share with another or be more open about in your life more generally. It might be a talk with a loved one about some significant feelings that you have kept to yourself or beginning to be more open about your beliefs and your abilities. Once you put your energy in the world, you magnetically attract like-minded souls into your life, which will then encourage you to share yourself even more. Don't worry if there are those that seem to be challenged or threatened by your beliefs. They don't have to have the same beliefs as, as you for you and them to be safe and loved and on, on that spiritual path, which is unique for all of us. You and others can benefit greatly from you staying true to your heart and at the same time being open to the fact that they will have their own truths that may differ to yours. And that is just the way it is. You don't have to convince others to be convinced of anything yourself. All you need to do is listen to your own heart. If there is something that you have been holding within, you are guided to listen to your heart for the right time and the best way to share it. Let the lotus light of your own heart and your own soul and your own inner truths shine openly, beloved. Be gentle with yourself and know that you have a right to be here on this planet in your own truth and that no matter what the response, whether a response of affirmation and love or a response of discomfort, your truth serves the greatest good. Trust in the strengths of this lotus light shining. It is more powerful than fear or doubt. It will light your way more deeply on your spiritual path of peace, purpose, and power. Aho. And so it is. Such a beautiful message to end the month with. So go ahead and take a deep breath in. Let's get ready to just dive into the meditation. Again, this meditation is something you can do as many times as you can, even after this week, going into December, you can continue to do this. And I invite you to do this as many times this week to really help you um, guide you through this, this week, this, the ending of this month. So when you're ready, find a comfortable space where you will not be bothered for a little bit. And taking a deep breath in and out. So this week's meditation 
you invite it to stand if you can or sit comfortably make sure that you have plenty of space to move your arms and if you're not able to do this physically you can imagine it taking place in your mind's eye by visualizing yourself doing or going through the process of it all right taking a deep breath in here and out allowing each breath to take you deeper and deeper into your heart space Relax in your mind, your muscles, every part of your body. Let this breath refresh you. Taking another deep breath in here and out. Now quietly in your mind or aloud affirm the following. I now choose to open my heart and reveal the lotus of truth and peace shining within. I choose to reveal my truth based in unconditional love. And non-judgment. I reveal it for the greatest good. And I trust in the unfoldment of the universe, blessed by the grace and mercy of Kuan Yin, so be it. Now taking a deep breath in slowly and open your arms wide at the same time. Imagine the breath igniting the lotus in your heart space, setting it on fire, and the heart lotus shining brightly like a star at the center of your chest. Now with this, you might begin to feel some emotions release and that is completely okay. Just allow your breath, allow it to come and go and then just breathe in and on and out. And keep breathing in and breathing out with your arms wide open, just a few moments. A slow deep out breath lift your arms up and imagine the lotus of the heart shining light out to the universe with love then with your arms high up and looking slightly up say I am safe in my truth I reveal myself with love it is safe and fun to be me my lotus light shines forth to benefit all humanity. Now bring your arms back down to your heart and receive this prayer. Beloved Kuan Yin, mother of mercy and compassion, bless me with this divine timing and divine words that I may express myself truthfully and well and that my truths may be healing for all concerned for the highest good so be it bless my heart lotus with shining peace and love om mani padme hum om mani padme hum om mani padme breath in here and out receiving all this blessing receiving this guidance the message for the week and when you're ready go ahead and open your eyes be in the here now fully in your body thank you for receiving the message for this week Thank you for receiving this meditation. 
And I invite you to do this meditation as many times as you want this week to really help you anchor that um, message, to help you end this month in a, in a, on a good note, in a good way, in an exciting, fun way. So much blessings to you. Until next time, this is Abigail, Intuitive Goddess Coach. Have a good week.